Ba-ding! What's up, guys? Marcus Stewart here, and here's what I'm playing. Marvel Avengers Assemble! Everyone has assembled in front of the, uh, the computer, the TV, whatever you're watching this on, on your phone. Gather your friends, because we are looking at Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the new game by Crystal Dynamics, the folks behind the awesome Tomb Raider uh, trilogy, the most recent trilogy. And uh, this came out last Friday, September 4th. I have been playing it all weekend for the most part. Um, I streamed it, actually. Uh, so, if you want to check out uh, my stream on Twitch, I, I've got two streams from Friday when it launched and Sunday, uh, where I played the first, like, probably combined, like, three hours or so. And so that's where we're going to be picking up here. Not Still not too far into the story. But, uh, yeah, I've, uh, you know what? As this kind of loads up a bit, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think about this game is a uh, pleasant surprise. I've been having a lot of fun with this so far in a way that I was not expecting to. I was cautiously optimistic going in. As you can see, this is where I'm at in terms of like what I've, who I've unlocked. I've got Kamala there, uh, Hulk, and uh, Iron Man. Uh, if you kind of look at them, they look like, uh, you know, for narrative reasons, the crappy versions of themselves because this is still early on it's getting like the last time i played i just unlocked iron man and i think the campaign i think i'm only like i forgot what it said but there's like a percentage meter but i think i was only like 10 15 percent through the campaign or something like that and i think that includes side quests it would have to i would imagine unless this campaign is real long because like it feels like i've put a lot more time into it then I guess the percentage reflects. But that's what we're going to be picking up here today. Um, just to kind of, um, you know, if you've been following the uh, the the lead up and, and the news around the game, the idea of the game is that uh, the Avengers, had like, they get disbanded after they have a huge event in San Francisco that goes horribly sideways after a supervillain's attack and Captain America gets killed during it, which... I'm still not convinced he's dead. He hasn't come back yet, but it's like, come on. Come on. Um, and so it jumps to five years later, almost in kind of, uh, in an Avengers Endgame kind of a way. Now that I think about it, I didn't even think about that till now. But um, And as Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel for comic fans, um, who has kind of, at least so far, been basically the main character of this story, like the whole opening sequence, at least up to when you control the heroes, you're playing as her. And if you're not familiar with Miss Marvel, so right now I'm Tony Stark. I've just gotten control of him back at the at the Chimera, which is the the helicarrier, the Shield helicarrier that's been de decommissioned and kind of serves as your base of operations. You unlock this about I'd say about two hours into the game, and it's kind of where you can select missions. But yeah, you're uh, Kamala Khan, who was present during A Day, and she's kind of the one spearheading, trying to like get the Avengers back together because in the five years since the Avengers' absence, um, advanced idea mechanics. Oh, Jarvis talking. Look at Kamala chilling out. Um, advanced idea mechanics, better known as AIM, led by uh, one Modok, of you know a, va a very uh, famous Marvel villain, especially in terms of facing you know Captain America and the Avengers. Um, he kind of takes over in their stead and kind of has this like this law or like this this kind of like grip on American society and like banning superheroes as the Avengers have kind of been, you know, forced into hiding. And so Miss Marvel to kind of combat AIM is trying to get the band back together. Um, so yeah, you kind of switch different uh, perspectives as you play, like right, like I said, I'm Tony Stark right now. Let's see what Kamala's doing, what she got to say. I'm like, I'm like I gotta get to a spot where I can talk to her. Oh, can I not talk to her? Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I was like, they're being really particular about where I, they want me to stand to interact with her. If I can, can I? She's got a little diamond on her head. I had just left her, too. She's standing on top of these wires. Is that messing her up? Is that why? Alright, so this is a good first impression is that I can't interact with Miss Marvel there. I don't know why. Like, it's funny because right before this. Um, you know, she just, like, just got her kind of, like, the first version of what would become or what will become her classic hero outfit. You know, up to that point, she just kind of been in her street clothes. Um, so I guess, you know, she'll talk later. But right now, I've gotten Tony Stark, and I believe the main mission is trying to reassemble my Iron Man armor because, uh, 
right now I'm working with uh, scraps. So, okay, so I'm 14% through the campaign. You can see up there in the left-hand corner. Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of like your kind of Destiny-style mission select. So you have the missions that have the Avengers A. That tells you those are the campaign story missions, which uh, we're going to do one of them uh, shortly. You got the Helicarrier missions, which are kind of like the, the harm room, which is basically the Avengers danger room from X-Men where you can just practice and fight, like, hologram enemies to um with different objectives to earn different uh rewards and then side missions uh so i have a hulk side mission that i haven't done yet right there so it seems so like hulk has like his own mission i guess arc and i guess other characters will eventually uh so this is the first of his mission chain haven't done it yet but um we're gonna jump right into this uh story mission so again this isn't like, you know, if you're worried about, I guess, spoilers, um, or if you don't want to see, because like I said, this isn't too far in the game. It's only 14% through the campaign. Um, but if you want to see um, me play the very beginnings of this game, go to my Twitch channel, look in the archives. You'll see those first two streams of me starting this game and getting to this point. So here we go. Jumping into the Utah Badlands. Let's see, it's even got a little countdown. And, you know, you can play these missions alone or with, uh, friends or, or random people online. I've only been playing solo so far. I haven't tried to go online yet, and I'm not sure if I want to play this without people I know. Uh, just because, I don't know, just because of the way the game is. It's like, oh, do I want to work with randos on like a third person beat em up kind of thing almost? But okay, there's it's loading. I was like, is this a cutscene or I think it's just a load? Okay. But yeah, I so like after I've been having a lot of fun with this. I right, Oh, okay. No way I'm going to be any help so, up the Chimera without my own upgrade. Oh, okay. We're So yeah, this is just a load screen. Experimental dropship which could be appropriated for parts to repair the fabrication machine. Unfortunately, it's extremely well guarded. But AIM's local defenses are designed around a large-scale air assault. If I fly in alone using the canyon for cover, I should be able to slip through and jack the dropship. It's risky, That's true. But I don't see you could do that. At this point. But yeah, um, I've been having fun with this. I didn't play the beta, and I but I remember reading a lot of impressions, and the impressions the pretty much across the board were pretty mixed, pretty lukewarm. Like I said, like ever since this game first debuted at E3 in 2018, I've been kind of eh on just everything I'd seen from just the character designs to just the weird pitch of like avengers plus destiny like i didn't understand what that meant no matter how much i read about it it's like i still don't think i get we what they're trying up. to do here exactly um but i was like i need to know because i'm a huge marvel guy i was like I, I gotta know if this is good so you know picked it up and you know after the first like hour i was like Okay, I'm having fun. Like, the first hour of the game, uh, at least in terms of campaign, is very linear because, you know, you're only playing. Um, once you get past that initial opening sequence that they've shown ad nauseum at this point, like the 8 day celebration, you're pretty much just controlling one character at a time in a pretty linear, like, like a Crystal Dynamics kind of way, almost like a uh, Tomb Raider. Of, like, you're going around doing some, like, pretty solid but also pretty standard platforming. Um, fighting enemies, all that good stuff, but it's all well done. The set pieces have been really nice. It's a nice looking game in general. Let me see, I have to remember how to use Iron Man. This is the first flying character I've gotten. So again, you, you do get to play all of the Avengers in that opening sequence briefly, um, but after that, I've primarily just been Miss Marvel and then Hulk now and again. So here we go. So we gotta reach the drop ship before it takes off. Let's see. But yeah, like it like the the combat so far has felt really good. Um like weight-wise, like playing that opening demo, everyone I had fun with. Like Iron Man so far is probably my least favorite, and I still need to play with him more to really see, but like that was my impression command. Then I was like, okay, like I think Iron Man was like the trickiest to use. Like he had a little bit of jank to him, but I think it's because. But we'll see how I feel. And right now, Miss Marvel's probably my favorite character to use, and you use her a lot. Like I said in those first few hours, um, she's a blast. Like I, I'm a fan of Miss Marvel the character. I, I've uh, read 
quite a bit of her line. I need to finish reading her line, honestly. Um, but, you know, she, I, I was excited to hear that she was kind of the, the, the focal point of the game, almost. And, yeah, it's been a blast using her and her embiggening powers, which I don't know if they'll get a chance to show off in this video, but... Oh, jeez. Punch that thing. Probably could have, should have just shot that, but okay. I see. I can get my bearings back. This is the first solo mission as Iron Man. Like you use Iron Man in the mission when you get him. But it's been a couple days. All right. So where are we going? Okay. Multiple. Oh, okay. Enemies up there. And I have my Unibeam. Show off there. There we go. Okay, the barrel rolls. Oh, that's right. I was on a timer. <laughs> Forgot about that. I should have just, in that case, I should just blaze through those guys. Whoopsie. But hey, you know what? Every time you die, you get uh, treated to this little load screen of all the characters and you're like they look good some of the loads can be a little long i've noticed it's not like consistently long like sometimes a little quick but there have been times especially in the opening sequence when you're it's more linear like i would like fall off a cliff or something and it would take like it would go through this whole like roster load like twice <laughs> before i loaded back see that one was actually pretty fast compared to what i've seen in some areas but that is a thing that you know you got to kind of look out for all right, so we're just going to barrel right through this. If we don't have to kill these guys, and I don't know how on the clock I am. I didn't see a timer. Okay, maybe that's why Jarvis just said he doesn't know how long, so maybe you're not supposed to know. Let's see how so yeah, let's just go. Hopefully I'm not flying past any collectibles, because there are, like, collectibles you can find, which are always fun, like... Audio logs, of course, like all the logs are like like text logs that are also, uh, you know, audio versions of them. Uh, comic books, which are my favorite thing. Uh, I like that. Okay, so let's go this way. But yeah, flying as Iron Man is still, uh, still getting used to it. I will say right off the bat, I don't think it's as good as Anthem. Which is pretty Iron Man y. Like, you know, I played like Anthem back uh, when I did my 30 Days of Backlog series on YouTube, which you can check on the archives. Or for a month straight, I played a different game from my backlog that I hadn't touched. Um, but when I played Anthem, I was like impressed with, like, oh yeah, the flying is the best thing in this game. And so far, this doesn't quite measure up to it, which is almost a little wild of like playing actual Iron Man flight isn't as good as pretend Iron Man. But it's serviceable, at the very least. Alright, so are we here? Okay. Alright, is it... Okay, it's... okay, now I can fight everybody. What else? Timer's expired. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. See? I'm still getting used to Iron Man. I, got sh I was trying to figure out how to, like, down attack. I was like, how do I just slit the ground? I swear I'm normally better at Avengers, guys. Promise. If I was Miss Marvel, if I was her... I would have destroyed everybody. Because I am really good with Miss Marvel, just because of how much I've had to use her. Um, but sh she's a lot of fun. Like I said, like just being able to stretch and grow. She has a cool dodge move uh, where she grows. And then just the beginning where she just becomes like a giant Kamali and you're just kicking all the little guys around. It's really satisfying. And Hulk, too, is a lot of fun. I remember hearing that Hulk was a problem during the beta for people. But... And I don't know how they turned that around so quickly because like there's one amazing sequence um, when you first get like real control of the Hulk during the story and it's like the way they designed that particular level towards like letting you wreck everything and just tailor it to kind of like you know the fun thing about being the Hulk which is just destroying everything that sequence the first time like when you're going through like this lab as Hulk is so much fun and I remember just having a blast and it almost kind of reminded me a bit of like uh, Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction and just reveling in its chaos. So let's see if this, hopefully this level is kind of like the same thing of like giving Iron Man his due. Alright, so 
But he just feels so far a little... Oh, I'm frozen. Uh, oh, wait. What? Get out of there. Okay. Right. Yeah, he's a little slower. Obviously, Iron Man, like, you can melee, but, you know, not really what Iron Man's known for. Are those rockets? Can I blow those rockets up? Need to dodge more. Yes, you are. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Blowing it as Iron Man. It's funny because I just done the, um, not just done, but last time I played the, um, the harm room thing with Iron Man where they more or less teach you how to use him. So I'm trying to recall that because it's been a couple days since I last played this, uh, like the game in general. But, yeah, like, between, like, how much better the combat feels and uh, the encounters are just fun. Like, the like the combat isn't, like, crazy. Like, you know, it's no, like, God of War or Devil May Cry. But it's, like, it's just, it's, like, just under that, I'd say, in terms of, like, how much fun and, like, the weight of the attacks feel. Like, it's got that fun kind of mindlessness and kind of, like, a, um, like, you know, that kind of, like, Marvel Ultimate Alliance sense of, like, just go around and just punch dudes and do cool combos and stuff like that. Like, it succeeds at being good at just letting you punch guys in the face. Um, all right, so I want to start with Mr. Oh, where's he going? Okay, you got that guy up there. All right, this is the one. Let's see, let's take the flying enemies out first. I'm going to worry about them. Oh, but that guy on the ground shooting me, so let's take this guy out quick. All right, it's probably that, like, yeah, that big robot. Elite Synthoid. Uh, all right, now he's down. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm trying to dodge, and Iron Man's dodge doesn't feel quite as smooth as, like, Kamala's, for example. I mean, I can parry, too. Like, he has a straight-up block. Should probably be using more of. Okay, I'm just lock him. I'm just gonna unibeam him. There we go. See, so unibeam's like a rechargeable move. You see it like in the bottom right corner. Okay. There's our health tanks right there. So that. Uh... All right. There we go. We're going... Oh wow. I don't know what you just shot me. Oh. Okay. So we got some gear there. Is that everyone out there? No. Oh. Oh, you're lucky I missed. I'm lock on you. Oh. Okay, leveled up. So I'm going to give me an excuse to go in the menu and show off the skill tree stuff. Oh, just juggle that guy. All right, who's left? Oh, who's still around? Who's still around? Is that a guy that Oh, there he is. Oh, see the dodge. Oh yeah, he teleports. Stop moving. Oh, missed him. Oh, Tony. I know you're a drinker, but you don't have to fly like it. There we go. Alright, so door's open, but before we go in... Oh, let's take a look at our uh, skill stuff. So this is your gear menu, and as you can see, you can equip uh, different gear loadouts because this is Destiny, and you gotta have your gear stuff, which still feels a bit unnatural especially for certain characters like iron man is probably the most natural character because like th you know thematically you're like okay yeah he can get different armor pieces different gauntlets yeah of course he could do that but like hulk has like because he doesn't wear anything because why would he? he he's like has like bone stuff like you can like you can literally change out his spine to have a stronger spine like it's like the most grasping at straws thing of like what do we put on the hulk <laughs> what what do you upgrade the hulk like his he has better skin like i don't know so like literally it's like his body parts like oh his, i guess his chest 
his 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 rib cage is better and his spine his spinal column can be improved so it's silly and it's pretty like like unnecessary i wish it honestly because you get gear all the time and you know it falls into the trap of like constantly having to go in the menu and pausing the game every two seconds to be like well let me see what this does and see if i can equip it uh there is like a an instant equip option where it if you hold l2 it'll instantly equip the best possible loadout based on what you have across the board so like if you don't want to look at that stuff and you know you just want to try to make it more of an arcadey experience as possible just hold the l2 button and just like eh whatever you think is best put it on who cares and i've been doing that more and more and i feel like i'm going to keep doing that unless i find something like really rare that i want to look at but otherwise you get a lot of these kind of like green and, and like you know common uncommon items early on i've gotten like a few purples now and again um so yeah there's that and let's see so we have our skills here and i see different skill trees we got our primary specialty skill trees and then the master skills. So obviously this game being kind of like a Destiny Light, they expect you to keep coming back long after you finish the campaign to try to like, you know, if you gotta if you're a fan of Iron Man, you wanna get all these skills, right? So you better keep playing. Um so right now we're gonna look at our primary skills. Cause we got one skill point. I can get this uh, whole square, like oh it's an uppercut, okay. So I can sure you can dudes. That'd be alright. A dive? I should probably get that. Aerial dive seems like a good idea for how much you fly around as Iron Man. Like a, a quick way to get back to the ground and attack people. Well, I can do rockets. I don't have rockets yet. Uh, rockets versus... I think I need the dive. I think functionally, I need the dive. Let's get that. All right. So, otherwise, you've got, like, your cosmetic stuff. So, these are all the unlockable outfits down here. Right now, this is the only two I have. It's like when you first get Iron Man. Uh, again, Iron Man, maybe more so than the entire roster, is very conducive to different cosmetics because Tony Stark has had a lot of different suits throughout his history. And then these are all the kind of like comic stuff you can collect. It's pretty cool. And you're not always playing uh, when you're playing by yourself. Like, sometimes you'll have an AI partner with you. Like, I before this, I did a mission with Kamala where Hulk was alongside me. And, you know, the AI, the AI is, or excuse me, the AI <laughs> seemed competent enough. Like, Hulk was kicking some ass without me having to monitor him. And you don't have to, like, babysit him too much. Like, you'll have to revive him if he goes down. But other than that, you don't really direct or control him. He's just doing his thing. Let's see Jarvis talking here. Thanks, Jarvis. I'm stuck with a mental image of George doing the robot on my headstone. Apologies, sir. Okay. You have a security... You are in a security facility. Have your ID ready. Okay. All right. So right now... Um, correct, the drop ship should be just up ahead. Yeah, we're trying to find uh, cores to power up the... The helicarrier so we can get it airborne again because right now it's it's grounded in like the desert like in nevada or somewhere scanning the drop ship was moved to a more secure location ahead we can't get there before it takes off we can if we overcharge the suit by 300 percent and take the direct route so you might literally explode and that canyon is treacherous sure but i feel the need for speed do it goose and play something fast I think the uh, Nolan North voices Iron Man and does an okay performance. Like, it's a very Nolan North performance, so it just kind of feels like Nathan Drake. And I am flying really fast here. This is just a flying sequence. Uh, so should I just not hit anything? But yeah, he's he's okay. Honestly, the performance that has impressed me the most so far is uh, Troy Baker as Bruce Banner. I think he does a great Bruce Banner so far in terms of, like, the nuance he gives that character, like he has that kind of quiet, like, like that timidness of Bruce Banner, but still that like underlying intensity. Like he brings a lot to that role, and he's, the, like I said, he's the one that's impressed me so far. And and Kamala's fine too. I would say there are times where Kamala can be a little annoying in terms of because like you know Kamala's thing in the comics that she's basically a giant fangirl for all the superheroes. Which, in the comics, has never been annoying. It's always been written very endearingly. Whereas, in this game, the writing kind of goes a bit far with it at times. Not all the time, you know. But there are moments where you're a little like, okay, maybe you can tone it down a bit, Kamala. 
But other than that, like, none of the performances have been bad. Like I said, Nolan North's probably the weakest, and it's just because it feels more like, what the f hell just happened? <laughs> I was not paying attention to something, apparently, but some, something exploded in my face. Hmm. But look, you get to look at that Hulk model. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Look at him screaming. Look at Troy Baker scream. Actually, I don't even know if Troy Baker... I wanna, does Troy Baker voice actual Hulk? Or does he voice Bruce Banner? You'd think you would, they would let him do Hulk Hulk. But actually, I don't know now. Let me know. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I don't know. Did I... I guess something hit me? Or did something just explode close to me? Oh, jeez. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I got lost. I got lost. Don't hit the fire. Okay, dodge everything. All systems are red. Okay, doing all right so far. Smooth. Watch out! Their artillery is targeting you. Incoming! On it! Okay, explosions. Okay. So I probably just fell behind last time. There we go. and it contains the needed parts to repair the Chimera's fabrication machine. Excellent. Let's check in on the kids and head home. All right, so I guess we're done. We got the... Oh, yep. And we got some gear. Look at that. Purple. You love that purple stuff. That purple stuff. Okay, so I can continue the campaign... Uh -huh. Which is nice that you can, it'll just let you exit and just load the next campaign immediately. So you don't have to go back to the to the Chimera if you don't want to. You can just keep going. But uh, I want to stay here because I want to do the Hulk side mission. The fabrication machine should be back online in no time. Great. Can't wait to make Bruce a new pair of yoga pants. Okay. So we got two missions now in the side. Oh, what's this? Oh, a side quest, sabotage, threat sector. Oh, okay. Can I do that with anybody? Or I can do this Hulk thing. I kind of want to do this if I get the pick, because I, I would like to show off Miss Marvel a bit. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me make sure I get the... I think I'm still... Wait, no! I backed out. Okay, let's make sure I'm Kamala. Because I think I was still Tony. So you can see your power level there and all your stats. Kamala's probably my strongest. Yeah. All right. So, sabotage threat sector. Okay, so we got that. All right, so here we go. Hill here. We found a facility where AIM is preparing to spin up another fake. And now we got the other. We got Hulk and we Iron Man with us, so it'll be the three time. of us together. We have to put a stop to it. Uh oh. Hmm. A lot of stretching. Also, like Hulk just already just Hulk, just on the plane. You think he would save that for when they land? I guess, but I guess, you know, because he's always angry. He doesn't. He could just pop it off, right? But yeah. If you've been playing this, let me know what you think of it. Has it also like been a pleasant surprise? You're enjoying it? Because right now, I have not regretted my purchase so far. And um, playing the game and kind of seeing how the, the levels are designed and structured, I want to see how the other heroes, like DLC stuff, uh, how they're implemented. Spider-Man, of course, most uh, specifically, because Spider-Man's my favorite superhero, which is why I'm playing this on PS4, because pretty much no, da no, no choice but to. Not that I don't mind playing on PS4, but, you know, like, because uh, there's uh, Kate Bishop, Hawkeye coming as well. And I can't remember if they said anyone else or if they have, I've forgotten. But 
I, I want to see how they handle, like, Spider-Man especially, because of the traversal stuff. Um, all right, so now I come all a character that I am not bad with. I can look like a competent player. But, yeah, like, her running and her platforming is a lot of fun. Like, she's got that little, you know, like, stretchy jump. She can, like, reach up and pull herself uh, towards uh, platforms if they're, like, relatively low enough. Like that. Like, she's just really fun to use. Yeah, she can bigger herself there a little bit. Big old fist. All right, so we're looking for a name site. You know, you can explore these kind of big open areas for extra stuff like collectibles or just fight some more enemies just to get some more loot and stuff. I said that the levels are going for like the destiny thing of like you're kind of encouraged to replay them over and over, which I don't know if I'm there yet where I want to replay something constantly. Yet, I need to spend more time with the game see how I feel about it. But I haven't decided this is going to be, like, a Destiny thing of, like, yeah, I want to log in and run through this again to get the the next Miss Marvel, you know, legendary outfit or whatever. So, there's Hulk doing his thing. Thanks, Hulk. Oh, we can do, like, a finisher. There we go. So, yeah, let's get big in. So, now I'm giant. It's, like, our sp her big finisher. So this is a lot of fun. Yeah, just kicking dudes around. Yeah. Yeah! Send them flying. You can also do this, like, high five thing that I just missed totally, but... It would have smashed that guy if it hit him. Alright. Who's the door? Where's Iron Man? What's he doing? I've seen Hulk running around. I know Stark is here, and I'm trying to see if I can... Oh, there he is. Let's see, what's, what's he doing? Ah. Uh, yeah, throw that rock, Hulk. What are you shooting at? Oh, you got him. Oh, look out. Okay, you got him before I did. All right, we did it, guys. Um... Oh, okay, so these are like one of the kind of like see, like cash rooms. Like if you found a way to open it, there's like some loot inside. Uh, we got a chest up here. So we got your, you know, Destiny chest, which is also just you know, it's like the super video gamey thing of like, oh, there's just chest here that you're like kicking open. Even as Hulk, he just kind of kicks it open, like, you know, a little tap there to open it up, which is like. Kind of like immersion breaking of like why is Hulk kicking open a chest like every other video game character, but I guess that's kind of the the conceit you make when you're doing something like this. But yeah, it, I so far like I'm more sold on the idea of the Destiny style blending of like the live service game from like some gameplay stuff I've played. Like I haven't hated it. Ultimately, would I rather this just be more of a, like, not a single-player focus experience, because I, you know, it should be multiplayer if you're doing Avengers, but do I want the, like, living game elements of it? Probably not. Like, just because, like, all the, the, you know, the season pass stuff, which, you know, I'm not inherently, like, I guess, super against season passes. Like, I've, I've certainly bought my share of them for, like, Modern Warfare. But, and, oh, oh, okay, I can tell, I was like, is that Iron Man? I was, I was gonna let it just chill out there. Okay, well, you got, like, a shield, so I can't, I can't bounce you back right now. But, yeah, I think, I think just so far overall, just so I don't have to deal with all the, like, 15 different currencies and just the, the loot, si or the, yeah, the loot system and the gear stuff that I'm not super engaged with, I almost wish they was... A little bit more of a, a, I guess, a single or offline focused thing. And oh crap, I'm down. I, I've never been down before. So, I, who's gonna come get me? There's Hulk. Hulk gonna do a signature healing that he's known for in the comics here. Thank you. Let me dodge out of this. Oh, get that aim guy. Oh god. I sure. There we go. Oh, I'm blowing and missing that guy. It's like I can't lock on him. So that was like my kind of healing move. Let's break those shields down. 
but yeah, you can see it's very chaotic, very almost like very button mashy. Like I said, it's almost like a, a 3D version of like an Ultimate Alliance game. Get out of here. And sometimes it can be a little much. You can be a little hard to follow the action sometimes. But sometimes in like a fun way of like I I sometimes I'll lose my character, but it's cool to see things exploding constantly and just all this crazy action. Alright. It's the shielded guy. It's a problem. Guy has a lot of health. And I'm wondering if I'm slightly under leveled for this level, maybe. Okay, so let's get rid of this guy. And then we'll focus on the giant robot up there. We'll let, like, I think Iron Man might be dealing with it right now, it seems like. Oh, oh, never mind. Yes, he very much dealt with it. It just exploded. So now we, I don't have to worry about the robot. Thank you, Stark. <laughs> High five. Some flying back. Oh, get that it, laser. Get that it, laser. Oh, you're both down, too. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of that real quick. Just that turn. All right, and let's get up there. I guess they both died taking out that... Uh... And you don't... Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. You don't press anything to revive. You just stand next to them, and it'll go up. Like, as long as you stay within their little circle, they'll uh, heal. All right, so I think... He's the last guy. Yeah, he was like, Can you guys help me out with this? There you go. He's pretty strong. Systems. Get me to the location on your HUD. Okay. Just gotta go over there. Let's get some stuff in here. Get some healing right there. Like I said, just straight up health backs. Again, very video gamey. Oh, oh, geez, that was gas. I don't know what that was, but probably would have helped. And all right, right now I was just doing a sweep for any uh, collectible stuff. Uh, okay, my health is full, so I don't need that. Bypassing their security will take some time. Keep the area clear, but stay in range of the control point. All right, come on, guys. Okay, so classic, just. You know, keep the area secure until Jarvis is ready kind of thing. You know, like like Destiny, like the whole, like, hey, your ghost is hacking the computer. Hold back the enemies till your ghost is done. All right, I need to be big. These big guys in the air, just want to knock them out of the sky. Get out of here. Oh, got some peeps in the circle. Get out of the circle, jerks! Oh god, shouldn't say those two words together. Keep the area free of Get it? Stretched kind of thin? Because she stretches. It makes sense. And it's funny. Damn it. I would say some of the humor I've seen in this game is better than that. I don't even know if she was actually making a joke or not. Or if they realized the joke they made. Um, Alright. It's getting pretty hairy there. I'm gonna do my heal. Oh, jeez. Am I down? Oh, no, I'm not down. I thought it was for a second. What are we, 60% of the way done? Yep. 
And it's been pretty intense. Again, I'm wondering if, if we're like slightly under level and somehow beefy the enemies are, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Alright, I need to stay into that circle. We're 70%. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, I would love my Embiggen to recharge. Oh, damn, I'm down. I'm down. Stark. Banner. There's... Give me up, give me up, give me up, give me up, give me up. Oh my god, we got a robot here too. Oh, Iron Man's down. Oh boy. All right, let's get him up. All right, he's back up. Look at just there's so much happening right now. Uh, like we're not even done with the little-ish enemies, and now we got two walkers out here. What does this do? I don't know what that does. If that would help at all. All right, I'm gonna. Okay. You got him. It's like he's like it's like Iron Man's trying to get over there. Oh, damn, it shot me. Oh, wow, wipe. First time I ever had a party wipe. Wow, that was insane at the end there. Again, I maybe I'm a little under level, but I feel like you could pull it off. I mean, we're already at the end. This is probably the last part of the mission, honestly, is this objective. So I want to see if we can kind of eke it out. You can definitely see the, uh, the appeal of co-op in that uh situation there which i'm excited to try uh with some peeps at some point i actually don't know who i know that has the game honestly and why is that truck shaking we need to take control of their systems get me to the location yeah. on your heart take that all right guys you ready bypassing their security will take some time keep the area clear but stay in range of the control oh point. Oh, okay, it's still what it was. You see, it's still at 87%, so you don't have to start from scratch. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait, never mind. Just kidding, it's reset. Oh, what the hell? I was like, oh, that's good. I could just pick up where I left off, but no, it just reset as soon as I... All right, never mind. <laughs> All right, well, you know, try to... I will, I will save my embiggening until the mechs come out. That's, that is the plan. You know, you want to stay in a circle as much as possible to keep that meter going up and get this over with as quickly as possible. Oh, oh, wow! What the hell knocked me down so fast? Oh, that turret over there. I didn't even see that turret. All right. All right. You deal with that Hulk. I'm going to... Yeah, get that out of there. And get this health that's up here. We're at 30%. Okay. Get in here. Because you don't want the enemies in the circle either, because they see they get their own individual meter down there, and if they fill it up before you do, then that's uh that's bad. You don't want to play it. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yes, I just use my heal ability. Things are getting crazy. Just trying to dodge and swing, just swing. Don't stop punching and dodging. Trying to focus on like some of the flying, like range enemies, get them out of there. I need to get Iron Man to where he gets to like his red and yellow armor or any color that isn't gray because I keep confusing him for the enemies. All right, there we go. Let's, let's deal with this stupid thing. Mmm. Mm. Like that is satisfying. Just like going and just being a giant and punching this stupid thing. Okay, someone is shooting me from on that ledge. I don't know if I can reach. Oh god, it's about to blow up though. Get it. Get it. Oh, okay, it got me, but didn't kill me at least. Oh no 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 no! Just trying to get out of there. Anyone nearby? See, Hulk's not looking too good, but you can make it. You can make it, Bruce. Yeah, throw stuff. Okay. All right, I need to get out of here. Cause now the walker's in the circle and is like, okay, Iron Man's down. Shh. Oh guy. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh my God! Another wipe. Oh my God! We almost had it that time. Ugh. Let's see. Do I want to do this again? 
or do I want to call it here? I kind of want to do it again. Feel, you can't end the video on failure, right? You can't. Whatever it ta whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. We're going to... All right, this will be the last attempt. If I don't get it this time, then we'll call it a video. We need to take but... control of their systems. Yeah, like I said, I was like, I'd probably leave the level up maybe a one or, two or twice for coming back here. But I feel like I'm getting close enough where I feel like if I cheese my way through it and see there's that turn up there that's ready to shoot us, but it's got a shield. So kind of scoping around, see, like, maybe if I can take out these range things first, I feel like they're a big part of the problem is getting sniped by those things and not being able to focus on them. Alright, so you guys hold down down there. I'm gonna take out the stuff up here first. So, yeah, because I got shot by that thing up there before. Let's get rid of that. Okay, is that everything out? I think we're good. Okay. Turn right there. Don't like that. Hey, thank you, sir. There we go. All right. Good start so far. Oh, we're almost there. We're at 50% already. All right. Taking out those turns was a good idea. Let's get rid of these flying guys with the shoot poison gas. Let's get out of the. Let's just get out of the fray a little bit. All right, so yeah, we're gonna save our beginning until the walkers show up. Oh, what the? Okay, All right, now. Okay, I would say Iron Man's healing all. Okay, good. Set, all right, 80%. Got there much quicker this time than before. Alright, let's back it up. Let's just work it. Focus on getting that door open. We only got 14% left. I'm gonna heal Tony's everyone. Tony's down. Alright, 90%. Oh, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Alright, door's open or whatever's open. So now we can. Okay, now I just gotta kill everybody. Alright, I just need to get in range of them. Look for a chest with gear oh god. Yeah, that's what I can get out of there. Alright, Hulk's up. Stark is still down. I'm gonna go for that heal over there. Hulk, you're on your own for a bit. I probably should have been jump jumping this whole time just to. Right, I'm just gonna swing until. Oh. Alright. There we go. Okay. Oh boy. Alas, get that health. Jump, Kamala. Eh. All right. Nice. Oh, stomp on it? Okay. Oh, she just elbow dropped her back! What? Never seen, didn't do that before. That's cool. Straight up elbow drop the damn spider robot. Alright, get out of there. Get out of there. Alright, they're doing, I was like, he's doing his AoE thing. Alright, this thing, this one's almost dead. I don't know how, okay. Let me back it up. Let it shoot its flames. Alright, you're down. 
you're down. Okay, now get out of here before it blows up. There we go. All right. Oh, Iron Man's down. No! Oh, wait, who's up? Iron Man's up. I would say go for Hulk. Oh, Hulk's back up. Okay. Okay, as long as... I was like, okay, both, both, both of them are up. Yes, when those things die, they explode. Oh, man, that was, uh... That got really scary at the end there. I was like, if we screw up here after doing so well... Okay. Is this it? Is this it? <clears throat> so yeah, chaos. A lot of chaos in this game. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. In terms of keeping track of where you are, but... I can't deny that it's fun to just, again, in that kind of mindless sense of going around, especially as Miss Marvel, just swinging around, beating up dudes, elbow dropping robots. It, it is fun. There is just, there is an inherent mindless fun to it that I cannot deny. I can infiltrate their security system. Okay. Oh, we're still going. Okay. Uh, we're going this way. Head for the terminal Wait. so I can get you inside the Let's get that stuff. Someone show up? Thought I heard an enemy show up. Oh, yeah. Uh, you go. Yeah, you guys deal with that. <laughs> oh. Still behind us. Oh, still got two flyers. Okay. Also, the game has really nice destructibility. Again, there's like a level as Hulk where you're just like wrecking everything and it really does a good job showing off how destructible everything is. And it's real satisfying. Feels real good. Alright, so that's where we came in. Did a full loop. I think. What's in here? Nothing. Cool. Let's keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Uh, this way? Oh, yeah. You've also got your, uh, if you hit up on a D-pad, you kind of get this, like, objective marker in case you get lost or, you know, if you've gone out the beaten path, all that good stuff. It can also, uh, point out side objective so it's worth using actually pretty regularly just to, to make sure you don't miss anything in a zone system. I need access to multiple terminals the multiple the terminals you say one two three aim will attempt three. to initiate a shutdown protocol if they gain access to the terminal cannot let them what? just gonna end biggin it's gonna go hog wild. And I didn't. Aim has initiated their shutdown protocol. That helps, thank you. Alright, so. Oh, <laughs> just a grenade right next to the. So this is one of them. I don't think I already use it. Okay, what are we supposed to? Which one? Oh, oh! I didn't know he could summon Hulkbusters. It's, okay, look at look at that! I didn't know he could do that. I haven't done that as Banner or uh, Stark, but yeah, you you do that thing. Um, I need to figure out how to hack. I think I have to stand on something again. Let's see. Do we need A? I see A is highlighter red. That's B. Get out of here, you. <laughs> All right. So where's where's A? Is A up there? Oh, it is up here. Is trying to remove me from their systems. So. Okay. Beginning infiltration. Okay, there we go. So we need to get B. 
Oh, I see. We need to turn. It's kind of like Call of Duty, actually, like the control point thing. So they have B and we have A and C, so we need to try to keep us on all of them as long as possible. Okay, so now we have them all for now, but A is under attack. So this was where a co-op would be nice because then you kind of coordinate with each other. Like you stay up there, you stay at A, you would stay at B, you stay at C. But we're at over 50 and we're get out of here, jerk. Mm. Oh. Trying to keep this guy away. It's a pretty strong guy. Alright, you can stay up there. I'm gonna go look at C. Alright, 80%. They just took C. Uh-oh. Hulk's down, but you're right there, Stark. You got that. Oh, now I'm down. Just kidding. Aim has initiated their shutdown protocol. Stark! I know you're up. Oh, you're both up. Why don't you get over here? Oh, here comes Hulk. Hulk, just the healer of the team. Always going out of his way. Oh, they're trying to stop him, though. They're trying to stop him. He's not letting them. Nice. Did it. Level up. Okay. So, yeah, you saw that little thing there. I don't know if you missed it, but you get scored at the end of your missions, depending on how well you do. Um, so, like, objectives will be like, oh, were you able to complete it without having a hero go down or, or stuff like that? And, you know, the better your score, the better rewards you get. Yeah. So, again, that's another reason to try to get you to replay levels is trying to uh, get better scores in all of them. Which, you know, as you get better at the game, maybe a level that gave you a hard time in the beginning, you can go back and just, you know, pull that thing off flawlessly. So this is one I would want to replay maybe a couple levels down the line. But I'm wondering if there's anything after this. Otherwise. Wee. 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 Seems like what Miss Marvel would do anyway. She's so excited to be here with Iron Man and Hulk. She's like, can't contain it. She's like, woohoo! I can't believe I'm an Avenger. Has an arc reactor close by. Destroy it. Okay. Oh, see, see this. See, this is a beefy side mission. There is a chest with gear close by. Which I like. You know, if you want to just get in there and just mess around with friends, like, give me a, give me like a side mission with multiple tiers to it, but. Oh wow, that's a lot of fly guys. <laughs> just watch just this armada of flying robots like, oh boy. Oh. I'm gonna fend them off with you. Uh, ah, I love that spinny attack. That kind of spinny uppercut. It's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, gas. Don't want to get the gas on me. Alright, we did it. We got him. All I do is win, win, win. Yeah, take that, science. Uh. Okay, purple ISO gear. There's anything else nearby to collect and or break? I think we're good. I hate that thing. Okay, so this has to be the last thing. Sabotage the arc reactor. That sounds like a a final objective, if I've ever heard one. Okay, destroy the energy junctions. Gotcha. So, oh, those aren't it? I thought it was the big honeycomb panels. Is that... Or it is. Oh, you gotta do it back here. Okay. Alright. So I'm gonna try to focus on this as best as I can. See if Hulk and Iron Man can at least be a distraction for the enemies while I do this. Gotta yeah, stay back. Okay, that's one. Let's hop our happy ass to the next one. 
Okay, so far so good. Not really getting attacked. And as I say that, somebody walks up to punch me in the face. That's alright. That is alright. one oh god oh god oh god is <laughs> it i think the bad guys finally wised up like she's the problem go gang up on her and look at that big guy with the hammer i've never seen that guy before all right i right, just got this last one let's swing over there oh right. i'm just gonna big in just for this last one just because hopefully this isn't a waste of him big in, but i just want to destroy this thing as quickly as possible Oh, and there's the big guy with the hammer! He looks really strong. Oh, he's an ice guy. So yeah, there's like different elemental abilities too. So like ice damage will like slow you down or freeze you completely. Alright, did it! Nailed it! There we go! Mission complete, guys! Look at that! And yeah, that is a... Uh, Marvel's Avengers! So, uh... I think a decent look at the game. Like I said, it's um, better than I expected. I, you know, I still have some issues with it, but we'll see how the game goes on. As I got a lot of campaign left to go, as well as God knows how many side missions. But I'm, I'm having fun. Like I, I think about the game when I'm not playing it, which is the best possible sign. Like I think about, like oh, I kind of want to get get back in there and uh, keep going. So that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, let me know what you think about the game in the comments. If you've already played it, tell me your thoughts, who's your favorite character, all that good stuff. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And, you know, check out uh, my other social channels up above. As you can see, uh, the first one's my Twitter at MarcusStewart7, my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv slash MarcusStreamsGames. Uh, like I said before, if you want to see me play this game from the beginning up to this point in the video, check out the two streams from this past weekend in my archives. And I also stream uh, usually every Tuesday and uh, Thursday nights. Uh, Tuesdays, I stream Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And Thursdays, I just kind of stream whatever I'm feeling like right now. Uh, and then finally, my personal website up there, MarcusWritesAboutGames.wordpress.com. You can find all my written game reviews because I am a games writer, critic, journalist, whatever you want to call it. Uh, primarily uh, game reviews for Screen Rant. I just put one up for Witch Eye recently, so give those a read. And until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Hey, if you're a Sailor Moon fan or love anime in general, be sure to check out a podcast by Moonlight. It's the podcast where I and co-host Jack Gardner watch every episode of Sailor Moon for the first time ever. We give a play-by-play -play breakdown of each episode, discuss and debate theories for where the show is headed, and, most importantly, make a bunch of stupid jokes and idiotic observations for your listening pleasure. Every Wednesday, you can listen to a podcast by Moonlight on Spotify and Libsyn, as well as follow the official Twitter account at APB Moonlight to keep up with new content. Moon, Prism, Power, Makeup, and Subscribe.